So hi, this thing arrived today and this thing will be a sponsored video because I got this thing and I hope I'm not wrong. So this is a switch from a company called Sodola Network. So you know what? Let's unbox it. And I will be using my scalpel because you're not professional. And let's see what's inside the box. Okay. Kind of awesome. Ta-da! So far I can say that the packing is actually okay. So let's open it and let's take a look at what's inside. And it is packed well, so it's kind of cool. Little switch. And these are styrofoams, I guess. And power cable. I believe this thing is 10 amps. It should be... Yeah, actually it's 16 amps, so kind of cool. A bit of overkill, but fine. And these are the brackets you use if you want to put them inside the 19 inch uh, well, rack. I can tell you right away, this is a small switch for what it is. And uh, it looks way greener on their website, so oh, go figure. So kind of cool, but you know what? Oh, there is a warranty and we will be avoiding that. So, let me first use this thing for a couple of days, I guess. And then we'll disassemble it and then I'll tell you my thoughts. So, uh, yeah, kind of cool, small switch. So, see you in a couple of days, I guess. So, I'm back. And uh, you know what? I will be opening this thing and this is the warranty sticker, which, well, we do not need. And it's kind of funny, I actually uh, peeled it without destroying it. So, we can actually put it back. Huh, go figure. Cool. So we'll be putting this thing back. So, what can I say about this switch? Well, it works. Um, it's not better than QNAP, it's not worse than QNAP. But it does have more ports, so... I mean, that's a bonus. 16 ports, fucking yeah. Okay, so you know what? Let's disassemble it. And uh, let's take a look at what's inside, you know? There are four screws. I think they are all of the same size. Now, what's good about this switch? Well, one thing, it has an internal power supply, unlike QNAP, which is expensive, and yet it does have an external power supply, which is like a brick. This is the uh, QNAP I have, and as you can see, don't get me wrong, this is a great switch. Uh, but yeah, it's not that smaller. Okay, to be fair, this one is uh, made to be uh, well installed in a rack, right? This one is not. But it has this stupid power brick, and uh, somehow I have a feeling that they could have installed the because this uh, impulse power supplies they are very small so without this plastic i think they could have fitted it in but i think it's just way cheaper to buy something like this than to install the power supply inside so there is that anyway let's open it there are two more screws and let's take a look at what's inside that thing with the uh, power supply is kind of awesome but to be fair every single uh, switch that goes into rack it does have the uh, internal power supply okay first of all there are four coolers which is kind of cool because they did think about heating I don't want to remove this heat sink because I'm not quite sure whether I will fuck up something this is a small power supply now I'm not sure about the quality of the power supply don't get me wrong these capacitors what brand are they if you know a brand uh, yeah let me know this is a ground and I'm not quite sure what's it for because as you can see they actually did properly ground it so kind of awesome okay so you know what I will be assembling this thing and I will be testing it some more to be fair as I stated before this is actually a good switch but again 16 ports versus 8 ports and this one is only I don't know 20 bucks more expensive 40 bucks I'm not quite sure okay this is a good brand this is established brand fine you now it's kind of funny uh, when I got this thing, uh, a couple of friends told me, okay, so you want to install backdoor. Uh, but yeah, uh, there is no backdoor. I actually did test it with the um, Wireshark. Yeah, nothing, nothing goes out of here. Again, this thing does not even have bias. And this thing boots insanely fast. Unlike QNAP, which I have no idea what they are doing, this thing boots instantly, which is awesome. Um, okay. And you know what? Before I close this thing, fuck it. I'll unscrew this thing as well, just to see what's underneath. 
but this is a decently made switch. The only thing I might be worrying about is this power supply. I'm not quite sure how good it is. I'm not quite sure about the brand or anything. But you know, if it fails, I'll tell you. I'll be using this thing for my home lab most definitely. And uh, yeah. Okay. And get out. Yeah, there is nothing holding it. Ah, okay. So a good idea if you want to disassemble this thing is to remove these uh, rubber parts. But yeah, as you can see it, there is actually nothing in here. This is decently made. Oh, and by the way, these are the uh, that rubber that actually hits the entire component. So awesome. I mean, yeah, <laughs> cool. Okay, so I'll assemble it and uh, I'll be doing some testing. At least I'll be showing you the uh, transfer speeds. So yeah. Nicely made. Okay, so basically I did a couple of more tests and uh, they are, I would say, inconclusive. So the first test is I was copying uh, from my NAS server uh, some files and uh, basically this is the uh, QNAP. So when going through QNAP, uh, the speed was 283 megabytes a second. And as you can see, basically it's flat. So uh, this is like 15 gigabyte file, I think 14, 15, something like that. And let me just go to the next uh, slide, I think. Just a second, yes. And uh, when going with Sodola, it was basically the same. So basically 283, 287. And again, uh, Sodola had a bit more like ups and downs, but overall not bad. The next thing I did was I decided to uh, go with the uh, speed test and this is actually QNAP as you can see uh, basically 1.433 1 uh, download and 1.620 upload and this thing <laughs> should be way more but uh, for some reason uh, at night it just goes like that so yeah but then again this was like a couple of seconds later which is Sodola and Sodola has better downloads than the uh, QNAP, but it has worse uploads. So there you have it. Again, uh, uh, the ping is a bit different. Is uh, in um, QNAP, it's a bit smaller, so that's kind of nice. But overall, um, okay, yes. And the last thing I did was uh, I have a FLIR, and uh, I decided to see how hot they actually get. And again, inconclusive because this is a QNAP, and as you can see, it's 42 degrees, 42.1. And this is Sodola, which is 41.7. This is the uh, bottom of Sodola, where those thermal pads are. So, uh, yeah, basically they're the same. And this is the uh, top part. I'm sorry for the resolution, but this floor was expensive as heck. And uh, the resolution of that is not the greatest. And the last thing I did was actually I decided to see uh, the power consumption of Sodola. And <laughs> it's uh, 6.3 watts. So, uh, yeah. That's basically nothing. And uh, I actually wanted to uh, see if the uh, power consumption will rise if I started uh, downloading from my NAS, but it remained the same. Now, a couple th you have to have a couple of things in mind. Uh, one is I did not test the SFP because I didn't have, in, the, in the end I, I had it, but it did not work. I don't know why. It might be just incompatible with Sodola or with uh, the card on my server. I'm not quite sure about that. They are very finicky. So anyway, uh, would I recommend to you to buy this switch? Absolutely. Am I certain that it will last as long as a brand name will last? I have like Cisco that's 20 years old and still working. So will this thing last 20 years? I don't know. Would I buy it? Most definitely. It's cheap. It's good build quality. The speeds are on par with uh, name brands. So yeah. If you like this video, please click thumbs up. If you did not, you know what to do. If you have any questions, most definitely ask them down below. And uh, until the next time.